A lot of women are confused when they've been suspicious of pregnancy. They take a home pregnancy test and then see a faint line. They're wondering, am I really pregnant or am I not? It all goes back to a couple of things. First of all, a home pregnancy test is detecting a, a hormone called human chorionic gonadotropin, or HCG, and that's a hormone that your body starts to release early in pregnancy, and levels rise exponentially and peak around 8 to 11 weeks gestation. Um, levels aren't high enough, though, for a, hor a home pregnancy test to detect it until two weeks after conception. So the best thing to do if you suspect pregnancy is to wait until your period should start. And if it doesn't, then that's when you should take a home pregnancy test. Even then though, women still get faintly positive results or falsely negative results because um, ovulation usually happens about mid-cycle, but some, uh, some women ovulate a little bit later than the norm, and that means that HCG levels might not be high enough to be detected by a home pregnancy test until a few days later. So if the first test is faintly positive or negative and you still haven't started bleeding in another three to five days, Take another test. Let a few days go by. I know it's hard to just put that in the back of your mind and wait, but unfortunately that's the only thing you can do is be patient. If you are indeed pregnant and HCG levels are rising appropriately, if you take another test in five days, it should be pretty positive and obvious, but if it's not at that point, then call your doctor and after asking you more specific questions, they can determine if further testing is necessary. Um, usually what happens at that point is that they bring you into the office, you take a urine test there, or they recommend taking a blood test. A blood test is a lot more sensitive than a urine test and it can tell you two things. It can tell you Am I, am I pregnant? Yes or no. And then it can also tell you if they order a specific test, um, how, how high the HCG levels are. So that test is usually necessary if um, you've started bleeding, but you knew you were pregnant in the past. That information can be helpful in determining if the pregnancy is progressing as it should. Another reason women see faintly positive results is that they've read the test outside of the time frame recommended by the manufacturer of the test. Most tests have an insert in them and they'll tell you to read the test results within three to five minutes. Some say five to ten, so that's why you should check with the test, check the insert of the test you're taking. And um, after you've read it within that amount of time, just throw it away and don't be tempted to look at it again because some tests do turn faintly positive if they sit there long enough. And so if you see that result two hours later, then you start to wonder, am I pregnant? But if the initial result was negative, then um, either it's a false negative if you took it too early or you just aren't pregnant. So again, the best thing to do is to wait more time, like five days or so, take another test, and if you're still wondering what's going on, call your doctor. Good luck with everything, and if you have more questions for me in the future, please feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash intermountainmoms and recommend us to your friends and family too.